implementing microservices. In this section, we are going to take a look at creating your microservice with Gradle, configuring the servers for your microservice. We will be using our XNet. Setting up the client for discovery, we will be using Rika to do that. Wire up the dependencies in Juice, create REST resources, and communicating between microservices with REST. Creating your microservice with Gradle. In this video, we are going to take a look at creating your microservice with Gradle. Gradle is an open source build tool, is the standard for Java. In Gradle, you define your build with a groovy DSL. Gradle has lots of open source plugins, and Gradle has support for multi-project build, which we'll be using on this video. And also, Gradle has an interesting wrapper, so it makes your life easier when you deploy to production, for instance. So now let's install Gradle. We need to download a zip from a Gradle website. We need to unzip it. Then we're going to create a bin director on our home folder, and we need to export the bin from Gradle to our Linux path. And then we have Gradle started. So let's get started and do this on our console. This might take some time depending on your internet connection. Okay, so as you can see here, we are downloading. So once we download it, we can unzip it with the unzip command. And then we can download the zip once we extract it. All right, let's extract the zip. Now I can remove. Okay, now I need to create a bin and a Gradle director on my home directory. And then I can move my Gradle uh, files to this directory we just created. As you can see, we just move it. Now I need to edit the bash RC and add this to the path. So let's do it. So here, here we need this environment variable in order to have Gradle on our path. We can source it and we can test if Gradle is successfully installed. And it is. We have Gradle here. Let's create a file to move the previous video files to this file. Let's call it Docker. And let's move it there. Create a folder so we can start the Gradle project. I'm going to call it code. Now we can start our project. We will do a multi-build project. So we need to create a file called settings.gradle. Let's edit this file. For this file, we will need to include all the sub-projects. For now, let's include the Meetup microservice, which will be the microservice we're going to build, and the client we're going to build for this microservice. Let's save it. Now, we need to have the build.gradle file here as well. So, let's create this file and edit it. Great. With this file, we will need this. Here we have sub-projects, which means that this will be applied to all sub-projects we will have. We are using the plugins, we are using the Java plugin and the Eclipse plug plugin, and also we are telling Gradle that we want to use Java 1.8. We are using the default repository, jcenter, in order to download jars. And also for build, you're using jcenter as well. We have some directive here called Eclipse class path download sources, true, which means that we want Eclipse to download the source from the jars that we use it. Okay? All right. Now we have the build.gradle, we have the settings.gradle. Then we need to create two folders, client and client microservice. Let's do it with mkdir command. Great. And now we need a folder for the microservice. Okay. Now we have the structure. We can create a build uh, file for each as well. So um, let's do it. Let's do it for the client first. Okay. 
Right now, I won't put anything here. Just you can see we have the file. And let's do the same for the microservice. We need a Gradle build file here. So let's create it. Okay, we have the minimum structure. Now we have this. We have the client and the meetup microservice sub projects. And we have the main project, the root folder, which is this one here, where we have the, the build.gradle and we have the Gradle settings. So then we can do Gradle wrapper. This will create a wrapper project for us. This might take some time, since it might be the first time you're running. And then we create the wrapper. The wrapper is this Gradle, Gradle W file you can use to run Gradle. You can use just downloading this project and you don't need to install Gradle because now we have a wrapper. So this is a self-executable Gradle. It's very, very useful. So let's do a clean build command in order to build it. So you can see here we are building the client project and also we are building the meetup microservice. Okay. So now let's add the dependencies we need for client and for microservice and then we can create our Eclipse project. So in order to do that, let's edit the build Gradle from the microservice. So we need to open the build Gradle and edit it. So let's do it. I will use gedit for that. Let's add the dependencies and everything we're going to need. It. Okay. So what we're going to have here is this. We will use the application plugin. So we're going to be able to run this uh, on the command line. And we're going to use the version 1.0. Then we need to define a main class. Uh, in our case, it will be main class com packet pub microservice server runner. And here we need we are defining some JVM arguments, right? I'm using here to say that I want to give preference to IPv4 because it's faster. And I want to say that this will start with at least 128 mega and will reach maximum 2 giga. Okay. So I'm excluding all the dependencies from the servlet API and I'm adding our dependencies here. So we're going to be using our XNetty as our server. So this is the Netty server with our Java. We're going to be using the version 0, uh, 051. And here we are add adding all dependencies we needed. We need jersey dependencies. We need log4j for logging. We need servo, carry-on, and carry-on Hystrix string for the Netflix OSS stack. Here we are also adding some Jetty dependencies. Um, we need Ribbon for the client, Hystrix as well for discoverability, and we are adding Juice. We're going to be using Hedges as well, so we are using Jedis as our Redis client. And here we are adding uh, more Netflix OSS libraries, like uh, Carry On to Eureka, Ribbon Eureka, and we are excluding some libraries as well. And for testing, we are adding JUnity 4 and Mokito in order to do mocks. So that's it. Now we need to do something similar for the client. So let's go there. Let's open the file for gedit. I forget to put the dot grad extension. Let's do it again. Client, we need similar, but slightly different. Okay, so let's do it. So for the client, we need use our X Java, and for the client, we need to add, add Fagin. This is one of the client libraries we'll be using when we use the client. This is a Netflix OSS libraries, and also Ribbon for client side load balancing as well. And we'll be using Jackson here for JSON and XML marshaling and unmarshaling. And also for testing here, we need JUnit and Mokito. As you can see here, we, we are not specific. So let me save this file, okay, and then uh, move on. Now, if I go back to the root project and I run the wrapper again, quite fast because I already have these jars. In your machine, it may take some time because we'll be downloading these jars from the internet. 
if we want to create Eclipse projects, we just do grad, Gradle W Eclipse. And this will generate the Eclipse projects for us. And then we can open our Eclipse. So let's do it this right now. I'm going to open Eclipse. I'm using Neon 3, but you can use it Oxygen or any other Eclipse, pretty much. Okay, so I'm going to create um, a workspace for us. Okay. So let's wait a bit for Eclipse open. All right. Now we can import the projects we just created with the Gradle wrapper. I'm just going to close some windows here so um, it becomes clear for us and there are less things. Okay, now it's better. So I'm going to do a right click here on the mouse and I'm going to do import, import, and then I'm going to pick general existing projects into workspace. And then I'm going to browse it and get that folder there where I was, okay. So in my case it was ROM, home, okay, msc2. And then I'm going to go for code. And then I'm going to get the Meetup microservice. And let me finish. And then also I can import again. And I can get the client. Go back and go in client. And OK. And finish. And that's it. We imported the projects. Uh, if you go in reference libraries, you're going to see that all the jars we defined are there. OK. So let's create source folders. Right click on the mouse. New. Source folder. And then we need to do src main java. Like this. And we need to do the same for the client. This is where we're going to put our source code. And then the same for tests. So we need to do src test java. And the client the same. And now we need to create the folder for resources. So we do src main resources. Okay, and we do the same for the client. Okay, that's it. We successfully create our projects with all our dependencies. In this video, we learned how to create our projects with Gradle.